Good evening, everyone. Welcome to special cat hours. Welcome to the special cat play main attraction of the evening. <laughs> Watch as our lazy cat plays poorly. Soul of Cinder 1080, thank you for subscribing. Watch as our beautiful kitten does nothing. does nothing and refuses <laughs> to get the thing. You suck, Joy. Joy, you're on cam. She stopped the second the camera started. It's like she knows. It's she like knows she that knows. it's happening. Let's turn those speakers on. How's everybody doing tonight? Special Sunday night, baby. Who are you? We got subs from... Umbreon717. I am Beth F. Soul of Sender 1090, like I said. Spin Buckflow. Rangatang. TKO Musician gave out five subs. Thank you so much. Willow Wilt, Petite Booger. Who are you? Kung Fu Action Lemming. And some bits from Gus Fritz. She got dizzy. Joy left. Who are you? She got dizzy. She got dizzy and she left. I forgot to turn off my computer. I feel like I've got the webcam on ghost mode. Why? On like too bright ghost mode. Too bright ghost mode. Hi, everyone. You talk to them. I'm going to fix this. Hi. Oh, my God. It's Saccharine Salt's dog's birthday. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. What was that? Everybody calm down. What was it? Everybody needs to calm down. Thank you for the congratulations on the patrons. It's all very exciting. It's all very exciting to have a job again. And this time we work Whoops. for us. Who are you? Who are you? We work for us. Louis A. Garcia. Thank you for the sub. Gus Fritz said congrats on 4,000 patrons. Did you say that? Is that what I you did. said? Yeah. Yeah. Man. I honestly can't believe that we have over 4,000 patrons. It's wild to me. I checked earlier and it was 4,200 patrons. Yeah. Which is 420 times 10. Damn. Do blaze you realize blaze how blaze much blaze you'd blaze have blaze to blaze, blaze it? Blaze it, blaze it, blaze it, blaze it 10 times. I did get a haircut. Julia cut it. I did. I had Julia undercut me again because I don't know when I'm going to be able to go to a barbershop regularly and... I was tired of having hair on my ears. They're open. We just feel weird about making uh, some barbers in a in a tiny store cut Jacob's hair. Yeah. It doesn't feel worth it to risk those poor people. Risk uh, life and limb. Oh, the webcam's usually can. over more. Thank you for the sub. And then we move accordingly. Axelay. Like this. This is what we normally do. It's me. I need to go back. This is a professional operation here, and I'm always ready every time with the camera in the right place. And I've never made a mistake. Mm -hmm. Lick the cow happy, subscribed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Has anyone got the highest level? No, thank God. Not I don't yet. Know how we would do it? There have been people saying that they're gonna save up for it, that they're gonna like make it an aspiration. Who are you? See, kind of my my thought with how much we charge for that is, even if someone does pay that much, it can pay for a flight. Maybe not for all of us, depending on where in the world this is. Who are you? We'd have to fly them to us. Oh, you get a trip to New York. I guess that <laughs> seems like it would be cheaper, right? Yeah, but do you want to go on a vacation out of this? It depends on where they live. <laughs> <laughs> As to whether or not it'd be somewhere you want to go. If it's somewhere exotic, maybe I want to go there. And by exotic, I mean maybe I could die. Let's go. It just seems like all the vacation spots I pick, I have <laughs> a high possibility of dying. Anyway. Wowie wow. Grayscale said um, that they're subscribing on Patreon at the spicy level on Wednesday as a birthday oh, present, and they're already saying they're sorry. 
for whatever it is they're going to request. Oh, no. Boy, howdy. Can't That's wait. That's the one that I'm the most nervous about. I'm so nervous someone's going to request to me because I'm so bad at spicy art. Karina would probably be Karina's excellent the best, at it. I mean, I we, kn we know that Karina's excellent at yeah. it. Yeah. Anna Bia said, started learning French today. And i like everyone to know, so I won't give up. Keep going with it. To that I say, bonjour. Yeah. Bonjour to you. Yes. You're gonna be good. We're playing Mamadan. Mamadan! We played, we played this uh, one last week. Yes. We, on Sunday. We played a part one last um, week. We played chapter one. But we week. got to a very good stopping point because basically all that's happened is we were on a boat with some assholes. You're going to have to switch to gameplay cam. We were on a boat with some assholes and uh, we got kidnapped by some, some dudes. And then our boat ran into a ghost boat, and now we're getting on the ghost boat. Yeah, we got... What is that movie called? Poseidon? I asked this last it's week. It's called Ghost Ship. It is called Ghost Ship? <laughs> We've been over this. We said it last time. It wasn't a joke. The movie about the ghost ship is called Ghost Ship. Don't play alone. Play with your friends. Why, Shared you, story. Play the story online with a friend. Why is microphone up there? Movie night. Pass well, you the look pad. Like an, an old man trying to read the newspaper. <laughs> and play the story together, supporting two to five friends. I don't know why you're doing this. Movie night. Is this a bit? Is it movie night? I'm not answering you with regard to anything <laughs> with the menus this time. Okay. You have to do all the menuing completely by yourself and hope that you don't click the wrong menu button. Oh, right. This nerd. Who are you? Continue. Yeah, we're going to continue. Yeah, we're going to continue. We got some subs. You? Did you say about Scootsy Boots? No, I didn't say about Scootsy Boots. Or Death Likes Cats or no. Brand Brando Lane. Mr. Poopy, it's your turn already. Or Cepheus, or Jack B R N, who gave out five tier one subs, or Devi Fitelli. I did not. Or a gender snake. A gender snake. Thank you. We'll have to see if this volume is going to be high enough. I'm not sure if it will be. I don't know. It's always so low. That feels okay. We might have to turn it up for the audience. We'll have to see. La porte, la porte. Vite, la porte. French sounded funny. Does this boat go on forever? <laughs> ghost boat knows no end. That ghost boat, it like goes into the horizon. Artemis 20 it's subscribed. And Jack VRN subscribed for themselves. Thank you. Julia, can you turn the, the volume up? On what? On the speakers, on the speakers mixer. That's going to be too high. Put it in the middle. Should we raise it for us? You Put, raise me up? That's going to be too high. Put it a little oh, yeah. lower than that. Oh, my God. You yeah. Dicky B. Well, I just know. I know that it is. Okay. You ready? Yeah. You got to click over there for No, me. I don't. Who are you? I want our mission to save, to be to save Fliss. 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 We don't even know what her deal is. She might have, like, a deal. I, she's the only one I don't hate so far. Well, maybe you will before the time is done. Then we can kill her then, but right now she lives. <sighs> DJ Tross wanted to afford the top tier of Patreon, but is going to use that money to move to NYC. Nice. That's a Congrats. much better use Good of luck. that money. Yep. <laughs> Hoping to get a job down there. Know anyone looking for a video editor? Not at the moment, but if we do, we'll let you know. Is this some kind of ghost boat? I can get tetanus down here. That would be me. I'm terrified of getting tetanus. Oh my god, it's the ship! Are you like often in a position where you could get tetanus? Oh, well, remember when I sliced my hand open on that fence because I was climbing it? What? What? Who are you? She got zoomies? She got zoomies. Ishtler Taylor. Over there. 
I'm going off on my oh, own. Oh, this is Ashley Taylor's last Twitch sub for a while so that they can support the Drop Your Patreon. Oh, thank you, Ashley thank Taylor. You. Thank you for all your support. Yeah. And in whatever form Thank it you may for take. supporting us personally and then that he's a witch. His chest This guy sailing. won't let me go back this way. <sighs> he gets mad at me every time I try to go this way. He does. I was in a park and I tried to hop a fence and they didn't close off the top of the the wires. You're just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> You're gonna break the game like this. He's really patient. He really is. Anyway, they wouldn't close off the top of the wires like this, so they just left it up, like barbed wire, and I grabbed the top of the fence and I didn't see it, and I put all my weight on it and it sliced my hand open. I needed what? stitches, I didn't get any. Why did you do that? Because I didn't feel like walking the long way around the park. You were like, I'd rather remove my entire, what? why did that guy just slap that clipboard out of my hand? I, I think know. I want to go this way though, actually. Oh my god, we're gonna oh, be okay. in this scene I guess forever. I can't. All right, well. Is there like, there's like a, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. The whole place is a floating death trap. Yeah, nah, it's chill. Oh, hello! Hello, Joy! Joy jumped up with a scream. A little screamy chirp. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, Do it again. Hello. Oh, there she goes. Hey, Goodbye. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Why? What is the deal with these guys? Won't let me go anywhere. Go this way. Oh my God! You're not wearing shoes. There's so much rust on the ship. Oh no! I don't. I can't go this Who's way. Who's that either. guy behind him? Stay back. Stay back. Get back. Move. Jacob, I'm loving the bit, but we have been on this one catwalk for what feels I'm like an eternity exploring the space leprechaun koala gifted are those tier feet one is somebody hanging and i don't understand why do you see it's boots it is boots the cat from shrek do you think puss in boots is here <laughs> jacob is being the julia this stream <laughs> yeah a little taste of your own medicine rachel mac 22 Thank you for the sub. Get back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stay back. <sighs> Who are you? Move. He doesn't want me to go that way, it turns out. I don't know if you knew. I do need to stay back. I got to get back and I got to stay back. I, which way do I go here? I'm like all up in the camera. Sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Do you dare look death in the eye? I didn't sign up for a trip to Creep Town either. I think I'm actually just gonna head oh out. My God. <laughs> what are you even gonna do on your phone? <laughs> well, literally anything else. I'll stream me playing the wordscapes. Now that would be a stream. Now <laughs> there's a stream. Now there's a stream. Julia Le Petit, word idiot. For you to explore this rusty ghost ship, get tetanus, and die. It is in a weird that they're very like painful death. they're like determined that we walk through this spooky ship. You have no idea. I don't know why they want us to go through the spooky ship. What's going on? In one of those lockers, you can definitely find a green herb in there later. Yeah, and where, a red where's herb. my where's my herb? Who are you? Where's the uh, oh, red heart key? J Fran. J Fran. Thank you for the two subs gift. Thank you for the two subs gift. What am I doing? Oh, moving. <laughs> oh, nice. I can breathe some ship smoke. <laughs> breathe some of that ship vapor. That's the, uh, the ethereal message. Are they going to slap goes. this out of my hand, too? Internal memorandum, 14th Dimension oh, yeah. Army. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He's sick again. 
Conveniently, it's always when he has guard duties and hold 3A. First is 2400. Check the chart for rotation. William Poured. Copy to, Qu <laughs> to Quim. Ams. Boozed up in gaming. Thank you for the sub. Stay back. Get Stay back. Stay back. Hey. Move. Hey, hey. You're about to see. Okay. I literally can't understand this French right now. I don't know if it's because the volume's too low, but I'm having a hard time. Were we wearing that shirt the whole time? Was I wearing that shirt the whole time? I forgot her name's Julia. Hey, it's pitch black in here. No, it's not. Give us a light. There is a light coming. Hey, it's really some Silent Hill shit in this room. Consider it. Please. Light it up. There's ship smoke in here. Don't just go lighting fires. You think it's gas? It could be. You could light up that ship smoke. Beach surf. What was the other word? What is this fucking place? Damn, dude. Stop cursing. Uh. It's an abandoned ship. And seems to be abandoned. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. No shit, Sherlock. I really like playing this game in the way that we think their personalities would deal with it. You can't just sit around. You need a plan. It's a stream. AP Mess, thank you for the sub. Even if the option would probably get us killed, I want us to react every single way like they would. I'm hurt too bad. I know, man, but my ear got ouchied. Do you see the chunky they took out of my ear? We'll get you out of here, Conrad. See the chunky they took out of my ear, Conrad? They swiped our distributor cap. It's not always about your ear, Julia. Elindra L I S subscribed, thank you. We're missing the same amount of ear, Conrad. So can't we hot wire like, it. Hot wire or something? You cannot hot wire distributor cap. State of Arizona so says it's a little quiet. Exactly what they were doing. Well, Those we can turn it up. Panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up for us too while you're at it. Yep. This quiet ass game. It's quiet and it only gets quieter. Quiet ass game. Gotta take advantage Who are you? and look around for a way out. Who are you? Slarty Bart Forrest, your mom. Yes. Your mom. I just wanted to Thank say you for that, the sub. Um I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion. It felt like maybe, someone took control of me and made you know, me be a big asshole. <laughs> I'm really trying to make it so that I, I don't I mean, get killed by you at some point during this game. Are, uh, Please. <laughs> I'm trying to have some yeah. sort of redemption arc. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kind of... It felt like some tank top dipshit at a computer. <laughs> kept making me say asshole stuff. Tank top dipshit. That's your Animal Crossing passport title. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? Uh, looks like it got wet. Yeah, that that's definitely just wet. American overseas, gangland, Ling of 1947. Archaeologists missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zargos Mountains of Iraq. The Hogson expedition arrived in the Kingdom of September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the dot dot dot. Probably a mummy. People are saying us with the to your boat. tank top dipshit is my favorite one punch hero. <laughs> I was thinking that too. There is a whole host of tank top heroes in one punch man. Tank top tiger. I have not read it. Give it a pull. Give it a pull. I looked at that hole 
in the wall, and I thought of how you can fix that. <laughs> we don't need to fix it. It's an abandoned ship. Yeah, it just looks so much like the rust spots in cars. You put a little bit of wire mesh in there, and you sand it, and then you put some Bondo on it. That's Jenny Cakes. Thank you for the sub. I wonder why this was ripped off. I also wonder that, Conrad. What do you think this ship was? What do we got here? A little something to read? State of Arizona. Uh, you can find that out in the one of the channels on the Drawfee thing. Miss J. Rivera, apartment two. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. Three months. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry. I'm keeping everything ready for you if you catch my drift. How's work? Hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away. I want to keep you safe. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe, too. I'll be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic. And we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. I love you so much, Miller X. It's hard to not laugh when you're reading like that, isn't it? <laughs> Rachel Mack, thank you for the congrats on, on Droppy. We're, uh, we're very pumped. Inordinately excited. My glasses. Real, real creepy. Real creepy. They're little glasses, you ding dong. Yeah, what's creepy about small glasses? They're so tiny. What kind of small head must these have gone on? What kind of tiny human fits these glasses? I've never seen a human that small. <laughs> what else we got around here? He's a witch. Any luck? Can't get it open. Hey. Who are you? It's rusted as shit. I'm pretty sure you can just kick it. Elder Fitz. Elder Fitz. Thank you for the sub. Saggy boy, it's Maybe going we well. Open and get out of here. Thanks for asking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vet like this would go. It can't be worse. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. You want me to just smash through this wall? Dude, oh, yeah, could you? Sure. Big man on campus. Who are you? Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Victor Belmont. Victor Belmont. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. I'm gonna distract. He seems like he would distract. Yeah, he's a distracting kind of guy. Silver and shit? Uh, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one legged fuck faces. <laughs> yeah, no, you. I'm gonna rip your pirate pants off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow colored stew. Hey, hey. I'm warning you. I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personally. Which president are we talking about? Hey, you. Can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? Poor Chegg. That's how I'm choosing to read that. Thank you for the sub. How else would you choose to read it? Porsche egg. Porsche G. Replace. Got him. Where did they go? Oh, jeez. They must have gone through all the... A hole in the wall. People are being real sweet to us in chat right now. Ah, thank you very much. A lot of congratulations. A lot of saying we've been working hard and uh, we're doing a good job. Nerdy Nerd 52 subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks for all the kind words, everybody. We need to keep going. My hard sailor girl. Sailor girl. I love with the demo place. My hard work was very front loaded, so I'm going to sleep for an eternity. But it should basically be done by now, for the most part. Now it's time for Jacob's hard work to begin. Now it's time for Jacob's hard work to begin. What's in this room? I oh, see it's a, a shiny. shiny. Hey. <laughs> that guy comes out and just slaps out of your <laughs> hand. 
No one can stop me from looking at clipboards now. FAQ, all sh ship personnel. <laughs> Extra guard duty regulations due to the special security precautions on this mission. Additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. D Double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking. Do not talk. No playing of games. No smoking. No alcohol. No gambling. Guard. Guard personnel found breaking any of these. Guard personnel found breaking any of these. Guard personnel. <laughs> <laughs> Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments. <laughs> Up to and including court martial. By order of Captain Board. Guys. Guys, nobody is allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. We should go. Let's go to 3A. Do crimes. AJ Absolute subscribed and Rush. Rush. Thank you so much. Rush. God, it's so hard to move these these boys. These beefy boys are so hard to move. Yeah. They don't like to like spin on their heel. They kind of just go whoop. All their beef is getting in the way. Oh. What's going on in this special room? I hate how surrounded by tennis Ooh, you yeah. are. Surrounded it's really by doing me in. Tennis? Batters. Thank you for the sub. Rockwind said our announcement about going independent made them tear up. We're Aww. so happy to see the channel grow and change like it has over the last five years. Proud of y'all and great work. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's very kind of you. It made us tear up too. The launch day did. Yeah. I was very nauseous when waiting for the video. Can we... Oh, no, it's a mouse. You oh. really going to hit me with a rat jump scare? I'm reaching in again. If there's another rat. Just full of rats. Right. Infinite rats. Let me get those pants. Let me get them pants. If I can wave my flashlight. Any rats in here? When we queued up the video, I really, I was very nauseous. We basically had like a, a very short period of time to get everything ready. But it was super down to the wire, but we did it. Did we do something for launch day? We were going to, but we underestimated how exhausted and nauseous we'd be. Yeah, after like all the hype was over, we basically just passed out. Yeah. Whoa! Ooh, Did you see that? There was some sort boy. of sexy nurse. Oh, I thought it was a sailor boy. It was a sexy nurse. Oh, was the Sally Hill opening you? Did you see that sexy nurse? There was a lady on the boat. There was a, ooh, there's another lady on the boat. I know that lady. No, we don't. What's in there? How could they all just Shiny. Bye. And leave all of their stuff behind. I hate that you are wearing no shoes. Where's the you are here arrow? Nice, dude. Good joke. Anything else in this room? Oh my no. god. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta be so mean? What's up, Julia? Hi. What's up, Julia Roberts? Oh. Go into the flickering light room. I wasn't sure which way is the way to go and which way is the bonus way. I think the bonus way is the flickering light room. How would you know, though? This I know, because usually games like to lead you with light, oh. but oh, this is a Silent Hill 3 base room. Scary, There's going to be a red circle on the wall, and you're going to save. What happened to that toilet? Pick Dear it up. Lila. Dear... Dear Ailes. Ailes. I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific Ocean, and I'll be back to you in the Goyles. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're going to see Daddy real Ooh, soon, yeah. and he got gifts for y'all. <laughs> I'm sure glad to be back in sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. This is my Oklahoma accent. I've been all right because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best because sometimes the others steal them to read, and I don't like them reading our letters. 
I know. Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted. What? <laughs> there's a little boy on board and it sounds like Ted? The boy sounds like Ted? Who's Ted? Well, remember, he had a son. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. Our ops guys are too far, too, too slick, too far, too slick. Now the war is over. I bet they'll let us this boy out, but it got what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go now, honey. There's a commotion outside. Usually means I'm about to be busy, boy, for a while. I'll write again soon. Robert XX. Rangutan, what do you think of my known herb? It's spooky. So there's a boy on on board who sounds like Ted. <laughs> yeah, remember? Ted is. He kept saying because he had a son named Ted in the first chapter. It's just that Ted is such an adult name. Yeah, it's very good. That it sounds really funny. And I imagine Ted from How I Met Your Mother is the main character of How I Met Your Mother. The I've boy never sounds seen like show. Ted. Larn360 subscribed while you were reading that. Ooh, yeah. And also, someone had a very funny message that is long gone now. It happened in the beginning of while you were reading but they were watching the old sherlock holmes stream that we did uh-huh and I you were apparently talking about what the hell happened liking to people but not wanting to say anything oh. we had a whole conversation yeah, about that apparently smart. calamity cc thank you for the sub you hear that People say I have to go in letters because how else do you end a letter? You did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. Time to peer over the side. What's the worst that could happen? This place is fucking massive. Mm. Are you going to be like, you can't go back this way now? No, you'll let me go back this way. Okay, thank you. I love the casual walk around this ship while these dudes who are holding you hostage are definitely still on this ship. Who are you? Jules! Subscribed. Thank you. Oh, wow. I can really get in here. Yeah, apparently. It's good composition. I was about to say that. It is because it's good. Rangutan, if you answered my question, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the show. It's fun. I've been Gorgon. watching season three. Gorgon Chan said, is potato salad any good? Your answer will, answer will determine my future. I love potato salad, but it depend, the potato salad can vary wildly depending on who's A making German it. German potato salad, really good. Who are you? Well, see, what you're doing right now is implying that a southern potato salad is not good. Well, and I personally am deeply offended. Because the two that I grew up with. Oh, there's the sexy nurse. Did you I, miss her again? I missed her because I was talking about potato salad. I was defending myself. You can look at the screen and talk about potato salad. I can't. <laughs> 21st century vol. Thank you for the sub. She was a sailor girl. She said, see you later, girl. Whoa, I'm th seeing the future. I right, so, shit. Yeah, what's in German potato salad? That's my question too. Boo rules. Boo boo rules. To you, Julia. German potato salad has a different ratio. I think it's like more vinegary. Japanese potato salad is the best. I don't know if I've had Japanese potato salad. I'm looking up German potato salad. It usually depends on your mayonnaise tolerance, is what I'm gonna say. Oh, see, German potato salad, no mayo. I don't think that's possible. What does it have in place of mayo? Okay, hold on. I'm, I found pulling, a, up, I'm pulling up a whole recipe for you. I found you. a tiny skull. It is an itty bitty skull. Is that cool? It looks like a mouse skull. Do we like that? Potatoes, egg, celery, onion, garlic, celery, a little bit of mayonnaise. It has a very little mm, bit of mayonnaise. So there is mayo in it. Just a little bit. I remember mm -hmm. it being vinegary. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I really like German potato salad. I think without mayo or some sort of mayo replacement, I would argue that it cannot be a potato salad. I think it's just then potatoes in a bowl. Oh, it is. There is no mayo. That's what I thought. 
Because German potato salad, and because I always grew up with two versions, and I always liked the German one better because there was no mayo in it because mayo hurts my tom tum. But if it has oil and egg in it, then technically, does it have mayo in it? Ask my that's, goddamn stomach. That's Jacob. deconstructed mayo. Really makes you think, doesn't it? Seven Blue Cat says, I never ate potato salad with mayo, so there's that. Well, then what were you eating? Just a bowl of potatoes? Go to Friday the 13th. Booze was a bum loss. Perez said he felt drunk after four cups, but I said he was talking baloney. It was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from some supplies they left to beating up later down on six and check it out. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Going to find him, see what he saw. Maybe he can help me get in to take a look. Oh, he unleashed the ghost. It's all said. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're going to take a look tonight. He unleashed Ted. Why would you keep a journal about your like illicit activities on a military ship? Because you think it's funny? Right. I feel like I need to do so much potato salad research after this stream. I'm genuinely curious about these varieties of potato salad. Because I grew up with a German deli two blocks away, and I really liked their potato salad. And their coleslaw is different, I believe, too. What do they have in their coleslaw? Vinegar again. Well, the vinegar is in most coleslaw. Vinegar, no mayo. You, vinegar is not a replacement for mayo. Vinegar, it's usually, no there's, mayo. There's usually vinegar in... What I'm saying is that there's no mayo. And that it tastes more vinegary than anything else. But you usually don't even like vinegar. Sometimes on a nice little zesty treat. Because then it's, it's mixed in with a bunch of fresh herbs. You're an interesting one, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> you contain multitudes. I <laughs> uh, couldn't get in the hole. They want some hooch. Something about a night out. I hate sauerkraut. Whatever. I like sauerkraut. Zachathy. Thank you for the sub. Lunar B, please send us that potato salad recipe. I think personally that mayo gets a bad rap with most Show people. Show me potato salad. Not people who it makes sick. Like me. Yes. Yeah. But I'm saying like a lot of people are like, I hate mayo. And then if you actually look at the things they eat, they eat a ton of things that have mayo in it. They just don't notice because mayo is not supposed to be the primary focus of a dish. Yeah. And when it is, that's gross. You know what it is? It's like the amount of mayo in a thing. You're not going to go towards that shiny thing that was back there? I thought I did. I thought I was. Was that? To the back left there? Isn't that what I was just looking at? Is it? Yeah. Oh. Is it not what I was just looking at? No. Yeah, it's oh, the yeah, skull. Oh, yeah, skull. Sorry. Um... Yeah, it's like, I'm good with mayo if it is a small, very small portion of what I'm eating. If it's like the thing that makes the thing the thing, mm. I love diner coleslaw. That's, most, that's mostly mayo. Diner coleslaw is so mayo heavy. The point is, mm -hmm. use mayo responsibly and no one's gonna have a problem with your mayo. But if you slather something in mayo, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be a bad time. Don't make like, it the thing that makes the thing the thing. Yeah. I feel like people use it to make up for the fact that they can't cook a lot of the time. They're just like, oh, I dried this thing out and it has no flavor. I'm just gonna put mayo in it. Well, as someone from the South too, mayo is a heavy, they're heavy handed with the mayo in the South. Shh. Quiet. I'm from the North. We don't like flavor. I don't know if mayo is flavor <laughs> per se. Does mayo usually go in like tuna salads? Yeah. Mm. It's what goes in every salad because it's as I've always said, a lubricating agent mm -hmm. for the rest of the, and, and also like a thing that makes the food sure. adhere together. Yeah, I'm sure. Why are people saying Julia, please? What did I say? The Olsen twins. Hope you don't find a ghost accidentally. Don't unleash Ted. Don't get Ted out of his, his Ted hole. Out of his Ted box. 
Now's our chance. Now's our chance. Grab it. Don't get Fliss yeah, killed. What do you think I've been doing? Looking at your butt. <laughs> See, the beefster said anything that has mayo would be fine without it, and I absolutely could not agree less. I think when it's absent, you end up with a lot of real dry meals sometimes. I don't know. Some people do like very dry, plain food, though, and I just disagree. Not necessarily right or wrong. I just oh. Warren hate, Fliss. Warren Fliss. I just hate. I hate dry food. Get out. I um, I I just don't like mayo. I like mayo and coleslaw. And that's it. I hate mayo on sandwiches. So many people are like, when I have a sandwich, it's one slice of turkey in between two dry pieces of bread. And I'm like, how are you alive? How have you not choked to death on the food you eat? Oh, did we get plus kill? God damn it, No, we're gonna get, we're gonna save her. Where are the others? We're gonna save her. Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas. Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. Aeoli's better than mayo in every scenario, but aioli is mayo. I just also with, don't like aioli. With added things to it. Aeoli's delicious. Aeoli also makes me sick. Mr. Poopy again. I thought we were following them. This is Jacob's gaming hour. Let's hope it's faster. I got this. Jack, I guess I do do grilled cheese with mayo on the outside instead of butter. I will say up it's until It's actually incredible and it does not taste like mayo at all. Because it's just like mostly olive oil, so. Sorry, go ahead. Up until I started dating you, I. Ooh, is that a ghosty in the window? It wasn't. Um, up until I started dating you, I also didn't use butter as often as I do now. Butter also rules. Who are you? Tashi Kikumaru. Thank you for the sub. It's. It's going to be difficult to have a lot of food conversations with me because I love 99% of all foods. That's true. So, like, if you have a question, but do you like this, the answer is most likely yes. I think it's very funny because people ask you your opinion, and you love oh, basically God. all Why food. This now? So whenever someone's like, this thing's bad, you, you defend it. <laughs> I do. But I also think that most things people dislike if they had it in the right context, could be one over on it. I don't know. I I hate cilantro in all scenarios. That's different because that's like a genetic thing that it tastes different to I different people. I hate licorice. But licorice flavor can work in certain dishes. Like fennel tastes a lot like licorice, and if you cook it the right way and include it with certain things, it can work. I also hate like clams and oysters because I hate the texture. I'm a texture person. But texture can be altered. What was that? Did you hear that? Depending on how you prepare it and what you put it with. Funny. I just love food, y'all. <laughs> and I want I want to create a situation where everyone can love food as much as I do. It comes from a good a place of it, wanting it, the best it for really, everyone. Really, yeah. I don't need to be right about it. I just want everyone to enjoy a thing that I find so wonderful. And so I want to find a way that they can enjoy it too. It's like when you like a very bad movie and you just want everyone to appreciate it for it being fun. Yeah. I want everyone to have as good a time as I'm having. Yeah. See, I have so few food opinions other than this thing hurts my stomach. Food opinions. Food opinions. No breathing. Where we've been here before, Alec. Have you been leading us in Gordon Ramsay and I have a bone to, on, I have a bone to pick with Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay and I have a bone to pick you with said each Gordon other. Gordon Ramsay and I have boned. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Gordon Ramsay and I have boned. <laughs> <laughs> not. Anyway. <laughs> that was such a perfect misspeak. What a way that would be to reveal that information. Uh, anyway, 
I um I have a bone to pick Gordon Ramsay because that's a thick knife. This is a knife on both that, sides. That uh, handle is too thick. No matter which way you turn it, that's a knife. Anyway. Hey, easy with that. <laughs> we shouldn't be screwing around right now. Um, nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants. I have a bone to pick with Gordon Ramsay because he said uh, macaroni and cheese is ma as um, uh, cheesy noodles. I guess you never know. We well, he said... Basically, the unfancy version of his thing that he makes is cheesy noodles. And I hate food snobbery more than anything. He was saying that That's mac and cheese before it's like coated in breadcrumbs and baked in the oven is just cheesy noodles. I see. And I, when I heard him say that, I was like, dog, mac and cheese is just cheesy noodles. It really is. Beep, beep casserole. casserole. <laughs> beep, beep. Today's beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. I hate people who try to make food more complicated than it has to be. Like gourmet burgers, when they add like so many patties that you can't fit it into your mouth, and it's like a chore to eat and you have to eat it with a fork and a knife, don't Don't flip it, give me that. There's no need for that pot to fall. Don't give me that. Just give me something I could shove into my mouth. It was really delicious, that's all I want. I love a good Shake Shack burger because it's just a little patty. <laughs> a little patty. What is this place? I'm thinking we gotta go through here. I hate when people try to make like gourmet pizzas. Don't give me that shit. Give me give me cheese bread what sauce. I think there's a place for both. I just consider it two different foods. What was it? Red sauce actor? No, red. It was a uh, red spaghetti actor, Paul Sauce. Red spaghetti actor, Paul Sauce. Why is everyone writing so much in these books? They're all just like, I wish I had a beer. It's like, I don't care. I don't care, dude. I'm not trying to be diplomatic. It's just that I've had like fancy pizza that was really delicious, but nowhere in my mind was I like. What? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't she? There's a sexy is, nurse. Her Did face is anything? jacked up. Uh, it's like animated weirdly. The eyelids don't move. Nowhere in my mind was I thinking this is the same as like the dollar New York slice something. I get. It was moving in the yeah. Like they're just two completely separate foods. It's like. That I can enjoy separately for different reasons. It's like. Rats. So the scale is like Probably Domino's, then there's pizza, and it's then there's don't fucking fancy rich people pizza. And those are three separate things. And they can all be incredible in their own way. Sometimes I crave Domino's, sometimes I crave a good slice of pizza, and never do I crave a, a cracker with some high-tier tomato sauce and a slice of mozzarella on it. I think you're being very rude. I dislike gourmet pizza. I think maybe you just haven't had the right gourmet pizza. I've been to Italy. It's gross and it's crappy. It was pretty good. And we gotta find but there's just nothing better okay, than so can we just shoving a sloppy piece of pizza in your mouth. But I'm saying you don't have to compare the what two. You're eating the gourmet pizza saying, I'm comparing this to the sloppy New York pizza. Instead of saying, I'm eating a, a different food. That's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm saying. What's in here? Oh, 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 there's two people in it's, here. It's, it's oh a God. skeleton. They were boning. <laughs> practically falling off anyway. This was practically falling off anyway. Boning. You reacted to the stupid game joke and not my joke? I thought it was just a really funny thing to say when you reveal a skeleton in a box. And you're like, I expected to see it. We got a name on this guy. What are they even doing here? Is this Agent Carter? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds I'm like a good plan. Okay. Who I feel cares deflated. where they're from or where they're going? <laughs> they're dead and we're Well, I mean, you made the most obvious skeleton family. joke you possibly could have made. Mr. gets the controller twice in a row. I don't want the controller twice in a row. 
the game has seen what a good gamer I am. I'm stuck on this thing. <laughs> I don't want to know. Get out of here. Yes. Everyone is supporting you with bees for boning. Right there. Thank you. Parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. The Where's end. the sexy nurse, though? Where is the sexy nurse, though? She's got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's it one can't way to be chained. Ooh, it's a big shiny. What's the matter? Shh. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> it's a stream. It's not a stream if I sneeze. Well, it is a stream because I, I sneezed earlier. <gasps> oh my oh, god! What the hell? <laughs> That was a hilarious one too. What? Seriously? Are you trying to What was out? that? Huh? Can we just get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. That was funny. I was enjoying that rat cleaning himself on a altar. Fallen sprite. Thank you for the sub. Is that like a like a sprite, like a soda sprite? Roger that. What's always running around in here? What's it's that? Ted. Ted. Why so oh, thank God, space? a linoleum floor. Oh, but you two are wearing shoes. Conrad's not wearing shoes. Oh my God, there's a good dead body in that bed. Gabrielle, I've heard about Ignacio's Pizza in Dumbo, but I've not been. Fuck. This is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't Did take it seem it. like he was fucking around or that he was just very scared? Hey, buddy. Ah. Hey, buddy, you okay? I better touch him. Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? Why would you touch it? To I don't know why real? you would touch it, but I do want to touch it again. Now I he can't. looks like he opened the, uh, the Ark of the Covenant. There's a lot of pizza places in New York I want to go to once we're allowed to go. Where the hell is Conrad? <gasps> and it's Conrad? safe to go. Maybe just get him some air. Conrad! I think this guy's still alive. He's on oxygen. That's the sign. That's the only thing someone needs to keep living. Touch him. <laughs> touch him. Touchy, I can't touch touchy. him. What do we have over here? Little clipboard action. <laughs> it goes. <"Meh." laughs> Stop. Stop reading. You're in a serious predicament. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Well, uh, nope, nope. Hikumiri and I love fuzz. One of my favorite foods. Of all time. It's, it's like indescribably good. It's just like the you can eat it anytime. If you want a food and you're sick, what that's when you know you like it. Looks that like food. he died of fright. You can't see that. <laughs> ah! But my favorite genre of food is the Asian noodle soup genre. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm probably going to agree with you there. It's just the best, and it's all I want to eat. I would destroy myself. Oh. Uh, oh. Connie? Connie? Connie. Conrad. Connie, where the fuck are you? Where is Conrad? He must have gone on ahead. They did not plan Connie. for Julia to be alive at this point. Her modeling is just wild. Be quiet, shh, dude. Shh, quiet. I can shout if I want. Connie! Where the hell did he go? We have ramen and pho all the time. Mm hmm Because there's a few pretty good places around in our neighborhood. Yeah. They're not like the best in New oh, York. 
It's May 24th. But should we take like, this moment to do an ad break? We should. They're way better than passable, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're above they're, average for delivery. Yeah. Ramen and pho. We're gonna take an ad break. Ad break. Do some stretchies. Get some water. Take your meds. Get a bite to eat if you haven't eaten in a bit. Do a stretch. Three minutes of ads coming your way. Okay. My okay. favorite pho place is in Georgia. If there are any Georgians in the chat, it's called Pho Bach. It's on Buford Highway. It's my favorite pho place, and I go every time I'm back in the city. My favorite pho place is this place in Queens called Saigon. You haven't taken me. Yeah, because you, you don't like to go to, out to Long Island, and then we had a pandemic. We had a pandemic, unfortunately. Eli the Bicycle said, I'm a Georgia. I've had that. Jacob, it's so good. It really is delicious. It It rules. Yeah, B-A-C. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Hikumirin. Let me know if there's a a correct or a correcter way to pronounce that. I'm just glad that like Vietnamese places are now common enough that yeah. you can get pho in like most major areas. I get excited when like global foods get really popular outside of New York because that gives me hope that one day I can leave New York and not leave my favorite foods behind. Yeah. For sure. It makes it hard to leave the city. Georgia's got a very good global food scene. Who are you? Yeah, you have that giant supermarket that I learned about in um, yeah. somewhere south. There's that huge world market and there's like a ton of Asian supermarkets. I would love to go there. That sounds so cool. AK Nicole, I have not tried that. I'm assuming it's a Korean dish. I'm not going to hazard a pronunciation guess. Elder Fitz, uh, spaghetti after Paul sauce, is a supermarket sweet breath. Yes, it is. I, I tweeted a, a video of it because we were watching it, and he said red spaghetti actor Paul sauce, and I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> red spaghetti actor Paul sauce. Some zesty boy subscribed. Thank you. Some zesty boy. Oh, it's the chewy rice cakes. I have had that. That's like one of my favorite Korean dishes. I can't. A lot of Korean food hurts my tum tum. I really need to learn like the basic pronunciation rules for Vietnamese and Korean. I I've know got it down basically for, nothing about Korean. I've got it down for Japanese, but for yeah. Vietnamese and Korean, like, and also like the various Chinese languages. I don't know, like I know a little bit of like how to pronounce things, but I'm way off on most. I'm okay at Mandarin at this point. I imagine you would be. Yeah. And I can understand when Taiwanese is being spoken, but that's, that's it. That's it there. Korean's Himalayan easy to learn the pronunciation food. rules. Mm. That's good to know. We do have some Himalayan food places near us. They're they're pretty popular in Astoria, actually. My mom works near a lot of Himalayan restaurants and is always telling me to go. She says it's good. Um, Rayburn Ray lives in Cumming, Georgia. Hey, we pass a sign for that every yeah. time we drive from where Jacob's from to Atlanta. When we were in Georgia and like coming up on the sign for it, I was like just waiting for Julia to make the joke because I was like, it's impossible to not make the joke when you see coming for the first time. Yeah. And she did. She made the joke. I did. I'm predictable. I mean, you ha I feel like you have to. Like, how could you not? Yeah. Uh, Floralegium, I'm not talking about reading like the actual native uh, like alphabet. I'm just talking about like the pronunciation rules for the English versions of the words. Yeah. So that if I'm trying to refer to like a dish, I don't sound like a massive dipshit. Star the PJ says there's a town in my state called Weed Sport. Oh, I know Weed Sport. It was, uh, I think the McElroys did a bit about Weed Sport. 
Red Raven says, where would you guys want to live if you didn't live in the city? If you if you leave the city. Uh, three states. Washington. Maybe Oregon. Vermont. Or southern Maine. I've, I have no affiliation with any of those states. I love those in, states. In my mind, I always figured that if I left New York, I would go back to Atlanta. Because I've got a bunch of friends there and... I know it has a lot of the same amenities that New York has. But also living somewhere like beautiful and naturey God, I, would be a good change of pace. I've always loved Vermont and Maine. Vermont, I spent every summer until I was like 16 in Vermont. Blue I Balls, Pennsylvania Vermont. has you all beat. <laughs> Amazing. No one ever says Minnesota. Hibernation Dream says, Julia, I live in southern Maine. It's really beautiful. What part of, what part of southern Maine? What major city? I used to camp a lot in Maine because oh, yeah. we would always camp first in Maine, go to that L.L. Bean store just to see stuff we couldn't afford, and then go to Acadia. The Beefsters said they want to move to a big city like L.A. or New York. And I got to say, you should pick New York. I love New York. I, I, I don't have a ton of experience with L.A., but based on what I look for in a big city. I didn't love I L.A. Like, I feel like you can't beat New York. New York, I'm biased for, of course, because it's where if, I'm from. If you're the type of person who would thrive here, I guess I should say. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's a corner of New York for everyone. I think so too. It's like impossible not to find a corner for you. Rachel Max said, I live in LA and you should pick New York. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so hard to get everywhere. All right, I'm going to keep playing. You have to switch. Yeah, you got it. You got it. I did it. You were going to remember. I could see it in your eyes. I did it. I could see it in your eyes. Who is the mouse? Another rat. I hope another skull falls on this one. Why would I tell you? That's a good point. And I'm also not shitting on LA because I really have not experienced a ton of it. I need to like have a much more experience with it before I can make a judgment on how I feel about it. Let's test. Um... Come on. Who are you? Is that guy's name Denny? Keep moving. Danny. Why do you know his name? <laughs> Victor Belmont said, I'm mostly interested in states based on their wildlife diversity. Then don't move to New York well, City. If you move to like White Plains, you're accessible enough to stuff like Bear Mountain. TGX, Joshua. Hey. But I don't think you're going to get like the maximum wildlife. Leave that alone. No. Well, there was a bear in my brother's backyard the other day. So. Yeah, bears are everywhere. I see a bear every day. You don't even know what you're doing. Do whatever he tells you, don't you? Central Park has 300 plus species of birds. That's true. A lot of birds in Central Park. And that one duck that everyone loved. Remember that duck? Oh, yeah. The mandarin duck? Yeah. Anything over here? Nope. Really thought that pipe was in a different location than it was. For some reason. What's in here? Is this where I'm supposed to be going? Don't think so, because he hasn't followed me. He's followed me. How big is Central Park? Not it's as big. big as Prospect Park, which we live next to. Central Park is All right, come out. quite a few sure, miles so. big. But Prospect Park's bigger. Prospect Park is also easier to navigate than Central Park. Did you know the guy who designed Central Park designed Prospect Park, and he was like, this is what I wanted to do with Central Park. These fucking places, it's like Disney 
when he made Disneyland or Disney World. Exactly. He had his test run and was like... Even he was like, Prospect Park's the hot shit. He's like, I can make this better by taking over half of another yeah. state. What? There's Central Park symbol. is really cool, though. I do love Central Park. Okay. I was just going around the trash. What was that noise? What was that noise? Must have been nothing. Why is this man so mad at This dude hates you. Whoa! Hat on? <laughs> he had a party hat on. Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, <laughs> you go stays on the ship. Is that the rule? Yeah, is that the rule, dude? You die on a ship, you your ghost on stays on the down. ship. The walls, they're too thick. Ghosts can't go through them. I guess he just has crazy hair, not a party hat. Yeah, I really thought he had a party it hat. It looked a lot like he had a party oh, hat. I really wish he did. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. How did you guys now. get so split up? Yeah. Screaming corpse. What's this? Olsen? Merde. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Who is this guy? He's one of the bad guys. He's one of the bad dudes. What? What is it, Joy? Come here. I think I I missed another scare. Because I was looking at the kitty. She's here. The kitty's here. Kitty's more important. The kitty's more important. Yeah, I'm going to have to investigate all these things my way back. This guy won't let me stop for a second you to wanna, look at photographs. You want to have a sit? Look at this photo. Don't. Oh, she's going to have a set. She just threw her leg out. Is she getting comfy? She gets so comfy so fast. She flops in. It's a wall, my dude. We'll do cat cam in a bit. You want me to do it now? Well, I mean, after the cut scene, like when we're able. What is this guy doing? What the hell? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Maintenant. Cat cam, cat cam. Who are you? Kitty. Take the cam off and bring it. Bring it over. Look at this cat. Look at this Take cat. Take a closer look at this cat. Look at this photo cat. She's the most comfortable cat in the world. She could not be any more chill. Look at this little leg. Me, 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 me. <laughs> she just looks at it. She doesn't care. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our little scraggle ass cat. Oh. Yeah, rub your face on the mic stand. One more cheeky rubs, two more cheeky rubs, little mouth, little mouth, little mouth. Yeah, get it. Get it. <laughs> yeah. You're a good cat, Joy. You're a good cat, Joy. Thank you for your service. Thank you for being a good cat. She looks so tired. Anyone tuning in just now, a man's legs and a cat, is what AP Mess said. They'd be glad to see it. Yeah. She's a good kitty. Who doesn't love a man's legs and a cat? Thank you for the leg compliments. Oops. In B Nish. Whoops. Jacob's got good legs. 
thank you. I appreciate that. I'm jealous. Who are you? Me. You're jealous of my legs? Yeah. You got good legs too. I got sturdy tree trunks of legs. No. That are very weak. <laughs> sturdy but weak. <laughs> sturdy but weak. I can the stand it. The eighty two subscribed and said I subbed for the cat. Fair enough. We appreciate your sub either way. People are mad because you cut my hair off with the webcam. Oh. You're right. I'm sorry. Thank you. It was like I got a brainectomy. My bad. Let's try it again. Sunshine Ray said you both have great legs. Thanks. Thank you very much, Sunshine Ray. There are some aspects of this game that look really good graphically. Oh, yeah. I think because it's in such like small spaces, they're able to do a lot with the lighting and stuff. It's anytime they get close to a face, it's not the greatest. Yeah, but from afar. Because they try to, they just try to do too much with the face, you know? And then everyone's mouth winds up moving like this. I just bit my yeah, tongue yeah, doing yeah. that. No game has mastered naturalistic mouth movements. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured you were. It's the Xbox X. Which one is it? Square. I hate this. You got to do those mental gymnastics. You know I can. No. Have I tried the Mortal Shell beta? Not yet, but I watched uh, Lobos Jr. play it. Bobo? And it looks really good, actually. Isaac Mayer, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> thank you for the sub. Did you see that face that was just looking at me? No, is it the hot nurse? No, it was just some bald guy. A bald guy? Yeah. Nothing scarier. I'm it's usually reading the chat scene. when something happens. Yeah, I mean, that's why I meant... Well, I missed Sexy Nurse both times because we were talking food. <sighs> that can't be a good sign. Oh, me no. You didn't have to jump down like that. <gasps> okay, so X? Yeah. Y? Yeah. A, B? Yeah. Correct Amundo. Raymundo. Do you remember in Rocket Power how they called their dad Raymundo? Yeah. It's fucked up. Why? I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> Just what decided to say it was. Yoink. Dog tags. Allison Sloan. Why do I have to flip Thank you for everything subscribing. over? I have to flip everything over. Charles T. Perez. Why is it anything ever just right side up? It's a good question. He's got noodly arms. They made this whole flipping mechanic, so they need to use it. They're like, we, got, we have to make you work for it more than you already are. Hell Valiant said, I sent my mom a pic of joy and she just replied with, looks happy, period. And I DK why her, well, comma, looks happy, period. And I DK why her punctuation was like that. Because she's a mom, and all parents text weird. My dad texts like we have an employee relationship. Yeah. All parents text like there's a fundamental divide in how generations use punctuation. Yeah. Like we as millennials and under feel like no punctuation is casual. A period is stern or businesslike. Yeah. And an exclamation point is like, oh, I'm happy and excited. Yeah. But parents use periods all the time, so everything reads like they're signing a business agreement. This is reminding me, and this is very important. Tomorrow is my mommy's birthday. Is it? Yeah. Happy birthday. So everyone 
Oh. oh. Where are you going, Joy? Everyone tweet happy birthday at my mom. It's, my mom is at Eileen underscore Lipiti. <laughs> Abby Apple said, my mom ends every text with a dot, dot, dot. She sounds like a serial killer. <laughs> my mom does that too. My mom does it. I well, don't know why she uses ellipses so much. I, I call her out on it all the time. My parents are also teachers, so they're like up on. on she stuff. uses ellipses like instead of periods or commas. So like all of her sentences are just like, it seems like she's taking deep breaths in between yeah. like half sentences. Anyway, my mom's on Twitter, so tomorrow, tweet <laughs> happy birthday to my mom. Tweet happy birthday to Julia's mom, but use a lot of ellipses when you do it. <laughs> Don't. Happy birthday, she dot, understands. dot, understands. <laughs> oh, my God. Brad's still on the ship. Fuck. Oh, we forgot about Brad. Duke of Milan. Goodbye, Joy. Bye, Joy. All right. All Duke right, of Milan, man of Medan. Fuck up. Fuck up, you motherfucker. Come on. My mom will think something weird's happening if everyone tweets at her with ellipses. Yeah, don't actually tweet it, Julia's more. Right, right, She'll Please. take it to heart. Be the bee. Be the bee. Be the bee. Be the bee. Ninja warrior over here. This is reminding me that recently I was talking to my grandpa on the phone and he meant this in all seriousness without realizing that it was like a major internet joke. He just said, do you guys like jazz? <laughs> it was very funny. Like, Young yeah. Barry asked if someone born in 1997 is a millennial or Gen Z. I think that's still the millennial cutoff, isn't it? I think so. Isn't it like 2000 or something that's Gen Z? 2000 something? I don't know. I forget. Brad's going barefoot also. I hate how many people are walking shoeless on this rusty ass ship. 1997 is the cutoff. That makes that sense. Because we, we were toward the end there. I don't know, man. It's all made up. Who's screaming? I was looking at Jacob. I missed the spook. Uh, you should never look at me. I missed the spookums. Hello? Yeah, it's all it's all made up. This can't be good. It's all just a way to categorize our hate for each other. It's cool to make up fake dividing lines as if we don't have enough. Yeah. I guess all of our dividing lines are fake. I mean, it, we will always <laughs> but let's find make up more. Like the Hatfields and the McCoys. Yeah. They just hate each other for no flipping reason. Humans will always find a thing to hate other humans for. Which is very sad. It's cool to be alive. Ha <laughs> he <laughs> ho! Why do these guys all die like this? They're oh. like they're all singing a barbershop quartet song. Oh, someone probably came through the door and spooked them. Generations are a scam made by boomers to sell more babies. Amazing. An <laughs> amazing a very take. funny sentence. Alright. Oh my god, I hate that we are shoeless. I mean, something's definitely going through someone's foot later in this game, right? Oh, hell. Oh, Bloody great. Hell. Perfect. Wonderful. I would not be walking around so confidently if I were barefoot on this boat. I would find something to act as shoes immediately. What? Why'd they all go in lock? They got bullied by the ghost. The ghost is bullying us right now. Oh. Joy's just laying down on the floor behind us. I think she got hot. <laughs> what was that? A mask? That was place. very funny. They look like a Three Stooges mask. That locker just opened. <laughs> Why is he getting the full haunted house experience? Yeah, he's getting really haunted. 
<laughs> Shoes are made up by boomers as well. Dumbass goblin subscribe. Thank you so much. Oh. Give me a fucking break. That toilet went all shining on us. <laughs> Haven't you learned anything from the other ghosts? There's no point in hiding. Hiding. Ted's gonna kick your ass. Oh, is this? Who is this? Looks like Fliss. Oh, oh. That looked like Fliss's feet to me. I would know Fliss's feet anywhere. <laughs> your heart beat your heart something went into my eye immediately that's not fliss's feet that's not fliss's feet that's olsen that's ashley olsen why are we so smooth i think like the texture the texture didn't load in properly yeah. <laughs> i do want everyone to know who's saying feet feet that we're working on some sock merch that you might be interested in. <laughs> so get excited for some special sock merch coming soon to the Droppy store. Everyone, please just appreciate that I've had to email very professional, very kind store people <laughs> and pitch them these goddamn socks. <laughs> Listen, we're going to need socks that say feet feet on them. Oh, what? Socks that say feet feet on them. I mean, I'll take it. Cassie needs royalties. <laughs> we'll pay Cassie for feet feet socks. I'm just going to Venmo Cassie 50 bucks without explaining anything. Well, there's a gun in the air. What the hell? <laughs> He's looking at it. <laughs> Can I take the gun? He's staring at the air gun. Is that supposed to be there? I don't think so. I can't. I can't actually pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> what is? Get the air gun. That's a free gun. Get the free gun, my dude. A free gun in the air. What am I hearing? The sky gun. Fungal Robot said that one of their friends works for DFTBA and is probably thrilled to get to design stupid socks. They're close. I hope so. Oh, I thought that said defund our future. Defund our future. Join now. I gotta flip over this damn piece of paper too. One respirator. One filter. Budget expenditure. Yes. Posed by Pivot Gordon Young. Rejected! Horrible <laughs> banana asked, why are there recruitment posters in an active Navy ship? <laughs> it's a good question. I feel like they're already in at that point. They're already in there. Mustard gas. Smells like geraniums. AMV Design said, so I'm guessing you're not looking for designers for your merchandise, right? You're capable on your own. Yeah, we're just going to be designing our own stuff like we've been doing. Um, At least for now. I don't know what we'll do in the future. Yeah. If we'll do like guest designers or anything. Fun sad fact. My French great grandpa fought in World War One and World War Two, died oh, because of a uh, yellow Tetanus. gas poison poison affecting his lungs. Not tetanus. Not tetanus. Misadon subscribed. Thank you so much. Mustard gas weakened his lungs. Well, you're not supposed to breathe this stuff. Tom, it's your ass. That keeps me up at night. <laughs> if this gets out, see that it's done. I also met my other great grandpa who lost a leg in World War II because he was shot through the leg. France! If it were up to me, I simply would not have had a world war. That's good to know. 
There must have been something else here, right? Like a filter. I'm looking for a filter. I know I've been playing a lot of Metro, but what did this actually say? Make sure the locker is affixed to Captain Osus and they must remain locked and under guards at all time. Okay, well that seems fucking up me at all. There's nothing over here, right? Nope. Okay. Okay. Everybody saying war is bad is just making me think of the the Kung Pao quote where he's trying to come up with a word for bad and wrong. And he's like, Badong. Killing is Badong. <laughs> Still war, haven't seen that. War is Badong. I'm afraid to show it to you because I'm worried that it's too stupid. <laughs> but I also Alex? do want to watch it again to see if Julia? it's too stupid. Hello? That's okay. I feel like I have a stupid movie that I'll probably make you watch. We could do a tit for tat. You can show me that movie. And you'll show me something equally as stupid? Yeah. A helicopter comes. What movie is it? It's Kung Pao Enter the Fist. I'm self-conscious about it because it's one of those movies that like women today will remember it as the movie that their boyfriend made them watch when they were a teenager and they hated. <laughs> like it falls firmly in that category. Yeah. Can the texture load on this man, please? It cannot. Have I seen Shaolin Soccer? I have. Shaolin Soccer is a lot so of fun. Shaolin Soccer. Kung Fu Hustle, wonderful film. Who's that? Who's there? Who's it? Get away. Who are you? Can I? Hold on. Hoshmello99. Thank you I, for like, subscribing. Isn't there a way to walk faster? This Kung thing? Fu Hustle is also amazing. Kung Fu Hustle is genuinely good. There's also like so many movies that I really like that. Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? I'm like hesitant to recommend to people because there's just like jokes that haven't guys. aged well, for sure. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem with like any old comedy. All comedies older than like five years are questionable. They're difficult in some now. ways. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're challenging. You're not supposed to be out here. Skeletons. See this. Skeletons. Like one of my favorite comedies, Airplane, has some really non-PC jokes in that thing. Oh, very much so. But also some very genius comedy writing. Yeah. So, you asked to be kept informed of the radio situation. We attempted outgoing messages, following times, no response. Skeletons. Sinister Broccoli, I quote, I threw that shit before I got in the room all the time. It cracks me up. <laughs> it's just like a quote no, that is stuck in my brain. I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing this. Lemon Line said this entire game is people walking around barefoot and jump scares. Yeah, so far. So far, yeah. I have a wrench. Can I, like, use that on the door instead of gently putting my hand on the handle? Look at me. I'm just like, hmm, touch. Alex? Julia? Oh, fuck no. <laughs> Ooh. Ninja Warrior! Did you see the nerd was there? The nerd was there? The nerd was there. 
Oh. A, B, X, Y. The nerd's always, like, lurking in the background. He's like, it seems you've... That's you again. I'm clean. It seems you've made some decisions, but was they good decisions? I'm like, I don't know. Eat my ass. Will we ever know? <laughs> Is it weird hearing your name in the game? Not really. Julia is not so uncommon. Oh, this poopy molder. Um, I am expecting to just eat it immediately. Who's that? Brad. Who is that? Brad. That wasn't Brad. Ghost Brad. That was Ghost Brad. What is going on here? It is by the same people as Until Dawn. Jin Daijun. What's this? He's a bullwit. He's, do you miss the bullets? <laughs> what was the point of that? Literally what even was the point of that? Did the ghost put that bullet there? Ghost bullets. Oh, there was a mouse. A, B, X, Y. Oh, B! You didn't do it. Why? Oh. You gotta go down there. Nice. I did it. Nice, dude. I couldn't remember the button that I was supposed to press during that whole encounter. Oh, Zombus. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Julia's gaming. I don't know why it's so hard for me to remember what button's what. I told you it was Brad! It's Ghost Brad. It's not Brad. It's Ghost Brad. It's not Brad. It's Ghost Brad. What in God's name is this? I would be throwing up. What a nice room. This is a nice room. It's lovely. This is from like Layers of Fear 2. Ooh, there was a ghosty behind this. I gotta work on my... Hold on, I gotta stretch my neck. Okay. How's everyone doing tonight? That was a D. This one goes out to all the lovers out there. The D? <laughs> Hit him with the D, baby. This place is not right. I feel like she should have gone to the piano and done the thing everyone does, which is go. I know how to play the piano. Look at Joy. Oh, she's so cute. She's passed out. A good chunk of our day is spent talking about how cute Joy and all of our blood fountain. I didn't tell you this yesterday, but when I was laying in bed and all of us in my lap, I honestly was about to cry because it was just so cute. It was just such a nice, quiet moment with it's this precious. little kitty in my lap. And she was just being so sweet and she flipped over. She was all cuddly. What's this? Depends on if you can get over there. Can't. Sequasa. Give me the fucking book. Oh, yes. I love the Satan book. Wow. Was that the Coheed and Cambria symbol on the back of that book? Was that the, oh, key, the Lord. 
This is some shit I don't care about. Cabal should silently assemble. It's a, it's a ritual. It's an evil ritual. We got Sigils. it. Sigils. Pentagram. There's some evil stuff going on in this ship. All of just makes me emotional because she has come so far from being such a shy little kitty that hides under the bed. That's a bad painting. It is a bad painting. Open it again. What if it's different? It's the same. I mean, something's going to change in this. How do we make it change? It's a good question, Julia. Thank you. Let's try to make a change. Does someone do what this said? No. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. It's from Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. I don't know that song very well, I'll be honest with you. I'm talking about the man in the mirror. It's rude of me to leave that note unplayed after that dude played it. Medan in the mirror. <laughs> I like it, Drazia. I'm talking to Medan in the mirror. This looks like um, that play we went to last year, almost exactly today. Sleep no more. Yeah. Looks like that's it. That was such a cool show. Little jazz set. I still think about it often. It's super neat. Very video gamey. Yeah. In a way I enjoy. Everyone can run for this. Keep your head on straight. No, don't go down. What are you doing? Go up there. Go in the door. Self-destructive cat. I think on this one, we don't really need any tips. We're just going. We're just kind of casual, casual wandering. So if people die, they die. If we get really stuck or something, then maybe we'll ask. Oh. Elijah in Lee. Thank you for subscribing. Who are you? Thank you. I do not trust the casket behind the curtain. A lot of people talking about sleep no more and how cool it was and is. We were very lucky to be able to see that show. It was dope. I mean, I assume you'll still be able to see it once the pandemic's over. Well, yeah. It plays like every week in New York. But like, it was supposed to be a limited time thing. You know, and that's yeah, what I'm saying, we were lucky. But it was too popular. It was very popular. Do you know who was in Sleep No More for a, a short stint? You? Evan Rachel Woods. Rachel Evan Woods. Why are you always talking about her? Because <laughs> she was in it, and now it's like a funny bit. <laughs> I feel like every day there's a new Rachel Evan Woods fact you have for me. She's a rad lady. She does a lot of Evan, cool victim Rachel advocacy. Evan, Evan Edmund. Spaghetti actor. <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti actor Rachel Evan Wood. She was kind of in a spaghetti, spaghetti western. <laughs> oh no, it's different. It's not as nice here. It's not as nice here. Oh, George in the box. Why do we have close up on her face? What is Gotta happening? get those teeth out. What the heck? What happened? I didn't do anything. Is that the problem? Did I not do enough? Oh. Ooh. The nerd. The nerd. I'm here to watch whatever choices you make so later I can insult you about them. Hey. Grad. Captain. How did you find me? I'd say my plan of hiding from the crooks was a pretty solid move. Yeah, I'll definitely give you that one. I mean, now they don't know how many of us there are. Mm -hmm. Everyone's just doing permutations of Evan Rachel Wood now. 
I probably would help, but I don't know. Rachel Evans Varys. Get out of here. Who are you? Resident Goblin. Resident Goblin. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. <sighs> I'm talking to Rachel Evans. Okay. Safe to say that we are now lost. It's a big ship and have a lot of corridors. I guess we just gotta explore every damn one of them until we find a way out. What are you gonna do once you get out? I wash my goddamn feet. Look at this it, muck. But I'm saying you're in the middle of the ocean. You can get out of the boat, but then where are you gonna go from there? Onto the. <laughs> Oh my god, wash your feet with this that. This boat's gonna squirt you, dude. That's so not what you want to have happen when you're on a boat. This boat's gonna squirt you. It's a squirty boat. What's in here? Oh, oh. that's some ledge? That's tetanus. Come, Brad. Come over here. Don't. I pressed oh. the wrong button. I'm sorry. I meant Maybe to investigate the room. I don't think we can go any lower. That's just like shale. You can't that climb that. Drive shaft. Maybe you can't. You ready? Have you tried to climb shale? Yeah. It's awful. I'll climb shale any day of the week. Oh, don't touch the feet. You've seen where those have been? Now your hand's got it on it. Ugh. Also, one scrape on that awful metal. That looks like the way out. To be fair, tetanus is a really wild word to try to spell. It's like tetanus. Te yeah, tetanus. Tetanus. God of horrible death. Help, but it's kind of That's a stab. Every... You could do a stab with that. This shovel is giving us the middle finger. Shovel Knight died here. Tetanus. What's this? What is this? Mm. Can't wait for that to come into play later. Hmm. That's a problem. Oh Climb it. That's high. Ninja Warrior. Gotta be a way Nathan Drake there. wouldn't have a problem with it. Oh shit, Sherlock. You're catching on. You just kind of ran into each other awkwardly. <laughs> we bumped into each other. Bonk. No. There's no way down this grate. Oh, I wish someone had a wrench. Brig King of Squirrels said, I played this game with my wife. Y'all's playthrough is very different. Haha. -ha. Did you have people die by now? Nathan Drake would be wearing shoes with syrup. You're correct. The no shoes thing is really... I know I keep saying it. It's really freaking me out. It's fucked up that the Uncharted games never let you see Nathan Drake's feet. God damn it. You played through four of those damn things, hoping for a Check peek. It. Check it. That ladder. President Schmidt, thank you for subscribing. Draw straws? <laughs> I'll go. Okay, be my guest. Who are you? Lord Your Pancake push. 14. You okay? Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, sure. How about you? I want on a record that I sent Fliss because I feel like Fliss is stronger That's than Brad. If Fliss dies, though, I know. It's Dang on it. you. Here's the thing, though. We tried okay. to kill Conrad and we wound Maybe up saving him. Way. That's true. Uh, so I feel like I just got to go with it. Fox Nado, thank you for converting your Twitch Prime sub to a tier one sub. That's some good shit right there. That is some good shit right there. Thank you. Uh, the ladder is for shit. The ladder is for shit. It's just for your shit. The ladder is for shit. <laughs> mm. 
Naked Flames. That's my uh, Metal Gear Solid code name. Hell yeah. Maybe Nathan Drake has metal feet like Star Fox. Wrong X, right X. I pressed the correct X. Oh, it was full of juice. You idiot, you got juiced. You don't even know a juice door when you see it? Cypress, thank you for me. subscribing. Bust open the grate. Hurry up. The water is rising. You know, it's really messed up that I got an eye amoeba. Brad, use the shovel that Flish just told you about. Oh, I lost my knife. Oh, that's going to get us killed later. Brad, get the shovel. Back in a second. Just put your lips through the hole. What are you panic? Just put your lips through the hole. It's fine. Have you heard about the app? <laughs> Get on it. Come on. It's messed up that I got an eye amoeba and she'll probably be fine in this dirty ghost ship water. I mean, you shouldn't have got an eye amoeba. That was stupid. That was stupid of me, you're right. Not of you, of life. <laughs> yeah. Is it bad that this boat's filling up with water? Probably. It ain't a hey. submarine. Hey. Come on. So, you know, it's got ghosts on it. It's a ghost boat waiting in the sea. That way. That was a very uh Zelda solution to that problem yeah it was he'd like to come and meet you but you've got to have bare feet it's a ghost oh, boat God. that was good Thank mad you. about it it's me i'm here Julia. the basic b oh he has those like sneakers that you have Little sneakies. Damn. What the hell, dude? Ah! Wee! Wow. Why you am idiot. I knocked unconscious already? I just fell into water. Oh, I'm in the submarine. I mean, in the the plane. I'm in the submarine. I'm in the plane that's in the boat now. The, the plane was definitely not a submarine. That was its problem. That's is that true. it was underwater and it was definitely supposed to be in the sky. We should stream a Zelda. Oh no, it's Maybe it's we'll stream Mike. a Zelda someday. What's his name? Uh Brad. No, Brad's his brother. He's also Brad. Bradley. Bradson. Bradbro. This is not the time for this. Put it on, have two rings. Then you pawn one. <gasps> Hey. Hey. <laughs> She's like, finally! Which one do I smooch? My dream come true. Two to smooch. Oh, they're gonna smooch each other. She's like, my dream is taking a turn. You're supposed to smooch, not kill. Stop! Stop! <laughs> I had literally no idea who was who in that scenario there. For some reason, I was very confused. I don't know which one is which either. Hopefully, this is the real one. And well, the other the one ghost. had tattoos. What? <laughs> you 
You just tried to murder a man. Okay. Thanks. I could have drowned. What? We Why is that away. your response? He's still around. That, that Thanks, guy. I could have drowned. Not like a lot just happened. Yeah. Let's talk about all of the things that just happened. But it's also like this guy's your fiance. I've discovered the problem. She emotes. Everyone only emotes with their mouth and eyebrows. No one emotes with their eyes. Come on. Am I about to die? Let's go. Why is everybody Brad now? Why is everybody? Is this all? It's all Brad's on this boat. All Brad's all the time. Mr. Poopy. Mr. Poopy. We're almost done. We're almost done. You wanted to surprise me with the whole Oops, all Brad's. I gotta say it was a good idea. No, it was. I mean, it's funny. I think it's funny. But Conrad is completely by himself, Ira right? Taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's you get you get these guys that are not the cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift? So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys, I'm with you. Put up some I mean, shoes. these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship. Is he talking to the boat? Oh. There's a spooky ghost. Woo! It's the sexy nurse. She's like a, a painting they put on the side of bomber planes. She's not a nurse at all. Mm -mm. What are you doing? Hey. You're Blair Witch in this. Are you on this boat? <laughs> you see in this boat? It's if you crazy. moved your head and there was a ghost behind you, I would have peed. I would myself. shit and piss simultaneously. Like they anticipated you being an idiot. They could never anticipate how big of an idiot I am. Something is fucking. Go in the room, Conrad. We gotta read the map. Barracks. Main garrison. Vehicles. Barracks. Clinic. Guardhouse. Surgical. Nard? Sur Ward. The surgical Nard. <laughs> What's through here? Oh, the future. The future. The future. Run. Oh. A mug is gonna get killed by a sword. I think it's a thing that they make bullets with. What? You can't make bullets. I don't know why they're carrying it with them though. You can't make bullets. Bullets, they come from the bullet tree. I'm about to ruin this ship in a bottle. Uh, Duke? Uh, 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 oh my uh, god, it's the uh, Duke of Milan. Uh, uh, Look at your oh, little I did ruin it. Did you see your little itty bitty nose peek in it? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Your little nose was on screen. It was very funny. Did you see me ruin that ship? Yeah. You drowned the Duke of Milan in blood. That's a whoopsies on me. Whoop. Ran to the wall. That's what happened to you at the turn radius of Jupiter. How do you know what Jupiter's turn radius is? Science. Operations orders, some boring shit. This was no accident. I saw him jump. See, see to this, Griffin Wilford. Yeah, Griffin Wilford. The nurse is gonna get you. I hope the nurse gets me. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a nurse thing? No, I just want to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the thing that's like, the war is over. This is bullshit. I only signed up for one war. It's America, baby. It's fucking with me, man. It's just, it's just fucking with me. That's it. I got to find everybody. Whatever this is, it's just, it's just fucking with me, okay? It's fucking with me. It's just fucking with me. 
It's just fucking with me. It's just fucking with me. Candlestick. Oh my god. Wow, he lifted that up so fast. He's gonna murder someone with it. Let's give this a shake. See if it becomes blood. Look at his silhouette. It's so weird. Because it's very dark. It's also very still. Give it a shake. Give it a whirl. You know those like. Oh. Oh. If I could forget it's one, fucking with me. one movie so that I could watch it again, it would be Clue. Clue's such a good movie. <laughs> I'm making pesto, ma. <laughs> what are you talking about, not even warm? The camp, the flame wasn't even close to the thing. Ooh. Why did you spill your beans? Conrad. If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. Let me ask him. Hey, buddy. Me, Neptune, strike ye down, Conrad. Chat loves Clue. Everyone should love Clue. It's great. After we watched it last time, I learned that Clue was a commercial flop. That's wild. And nobody liked it when it came out. Turns out audiences were wrong. Audiences have never been wrong before. Probably not much of a practice what you preach kind of guy. Ooh. Whoa. What's the Ouija board saying? You're fucking with me. The Luigi board. I like that he looks at everything like. <laughs> Whoa. It was crazy. Like me and when I was reading the menus at the beginning of this stream. Like an old man. Like an old man. Gary Oldman. A Wawag board. I forgot about Wawag. <laughs> this is definitely a Photoshop filter that I would have made yeah, on like a really selfie a of myself. Or you know, with like the burnt edges. Yeah. You should. When I was a teen. But should I? Yeah, I should. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, get goofed. What? All right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? Use your dong, dude. <laughs> Awful. Can you use the candlestick? I feel like you would have grabbed it if you could have used it, but. Guess I gotta go back. If this were Kentucky Route, there would be a cool bluegrass band in the foreground of, in that shadow. But it ain't. What's the run button? I think it's, yeah, oh, shuffle. It's, it's LB. Yeah, LB. I can shuffle a bit faster. Candlestick. Louis Baton. It's got some hat to paste. Door. He's moving his eyes so much from side to side. Yeah, like a human. Like a human being. <laughs> the noise. Damn, she got her. Noise. She got a titty out and everything. What's she gonna do? She's gonna smooch you to death. Oh, whoa. Me. Got him. Whoa, oh, I hit the wrong button. It's okay, you didn't have an ear anyway. It's a good thing I lost that ear earlier. Got him. Uh-oh, Silent Hill. Yeah, Silent Hill. Got him. Oh. Not really my type anymore. Got him. Oh, she's got a little slippies on. She's trying. Got him. 
Got him. Oh my god, the feet! Got him. How'd she get down there? I don't know, she's doing a thriller down there, yeah, though. Yes, she is. Da da. Da da da. Boom 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. Hide. No, run. No, yeah, run. Hiding hasn't done anyone any good. Use them feet. This ship is not OSHA approved. Or ocean approved. How'd you get up here? Got him. Comrade. Why does she sound like a dinosaur? Clever girl. Oh, we have blonde hair now. You can't exist in the harsh light of night. <laughs> Just keep going in circles. She's not very fast. She looks pretty weak, too. Maybe, like, hit her. I kind of like how this character's moving around. She's ambulating in a cool way. Whoa. Her movements down. Confront. Front. Let's go. Football tackle her ass. Oh. Come on. Come on, please. Oh, it was Fliss the whole time. Why were you a horrible screaming old woman? That's how I wake up. <laughs> Every day. Jacob turns around and he says good morning and I respond with Rawr! That's it for us. That's it for us. Joy's trying to get the feather toy out of the thing. So that's it for us. That's it for us. Gamers are over. Gamers are done. We need to get everyone killed organically. If we aim to kill them, it's not so fun. Because then we're like rigging the system. I just can't bring myself to game poorly. <laughs> it goes against everything I believe in. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow. Alex. No, Brad. No, his name's Alex. No, Brad. That's Brad. It's Brad, Brad, Conrad, and Fliss. Joy's sitting on the litter box. In the we'll office. be back tomorrow with Hollow Knight. Julia will be. Yes, me. I'm streaming at 3. At 3 p.m. Hollow Knight. I'm continuing and with then, Hollow Knight. And then on Tuesday, first new drop you vid. Fully edited, full color, full desire. It's back. It's back. It's back. We're, we're out of here. I'll yeah. see you tomorrow at 3. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.